Hey guys, Josh here, and this is my review of Minami Lane, a tiny street management game releasing for Steam on February 28, 2024. This game was developed over a period of six months by a couple named Dorian and Dorian. Yes, they share the same name, and they also go by Doot and Bleebloop. They partnered with Wholesome Games, who sent me an early review copy. I just finished playing it, so I'll tell you everything you need to know before you decide if this game is for you or not. Keep in mind that this is a smaller game, a smaller experience, and so this will be a smaller review than what I usually do, but hopefully it should still be helpful. So Minami Lane is pretty simple, you have one street and each day you can spend some money to add one building to it. This could be a house which attracts new villagers, a shop which increases your revenue, or something like a park which increases the beauty of your street. Your street also has a satisfaction percentage, and for certain objectives or buildings, you will need your satisfaction to be at a certain level. The more houses you build and villagers you attract, the more revenue your shops will get, but you do need to find the right balance, as if your street doesn't have enough beauty compared to the amount of villagers, your satisfaction will go down. Another way to ensure satisfaction is by adjusting what your shops sell. For example, in your ramen shop, you can decide if your ramen has one egg, two eggs, one shrimp, no shrimp at all, and so on, plus you can also adjust the price. Once you start the day, your villagers will walk around, visit your shops, and then you'll be able to click on them and they'll give you some feedback, tell you, for example, there's not enough of this in my ramen or there's too much of that. And after the day is over, you will be able to go back to the shop and adjust those things. It is pretty straightforward at first as everybody in the same category has the same taste. So at the beginning, you'll only have young people and you'll figure out pretty quickly the perfect recipe for them. But then later on, you will have elders living on your street with completely different tastes. So then it will become a bit more tricky and you'll have to either figure out a compromise that both groups are fine with or maybe make two separate shops, one catering to each group. So the game is all about managing the satisfaction of your villagers, all while trying to make money and expanding your little street, adding new buildings and upgrading existing ones. During the day, while all of your villagers are walking around doing their thing, you can also click to collect trash, try to find a hidden tanuki or even pet some cats in order to get some extra money. But most of what you'll be doing is really just watching what's happening on your street and thinking about what you'll adjust or build once the day ends. So you will be doing a lot of watching in this game, but fortunately the presentation of Minami Lane is great. It's just very pleasant to look at your street. By the way, you can pick the colors for the buildings and the animations and all of the little characters are lovely. The UI looks clean and is responsive and also really like some of the small details. For example, if you click on the villager, sometimes they will say hi and it's just very cute. Hi. Hi. So I would say that the presentation is definitely the highlight of this game. And even though the gameplay is fun, it is a little bit simple. The game currently offers five missions, each with different objectives, like having a certain number of villagers, satisfaction, or maybe building a specific type of shop. Each mission also has an optional objective, such as completing the objectives within a certain number of days. Once you've met the main objectives, you can then keep playing on the same street or go to the next mission. By the way, I played the demo for Minami Lane earlier this month during Steam Next Fest, and I remember the second mission being worded kind of strangely, making it hard to figure out exactly what you had to do, but that has been fixed and all of the objectives are extremely clear in the full release. Every mission will get you started on a new street, introducing new buildings and mechanics. I won't say too much in order to avoid spoilers because it is a very short game, but you can expect little additions, for example, clicking on cyclists in addition to cats in order to get some extra money, or maybe an upgrade that picks up the trash automatically for you, just little things like that. Some of the optional objectives will require a bit of planning, but even in the last mission, the game never really gets too difficult. The mission mode took me an hour and a half to complete. There's only one optional objective that I missed, so I could take maybe an extra 15 to 20 minutes to try it again. That being said, I did play mostly with the four times speed, so there are different speed settings, and I do like to play my management games pretty fast. 
So of course, if you play slower, you can expect anything between two to four hours. Besides the main mission mode, there's also a sandbox mode that comes with two options. So there's one where you start with a bunch of money and you can do pretty much anything you'd like. And then there's another option that feels a bit more similar to the mission mode, but without the objectives. And that's it for Minami Lane. Part of me hoped that the experience went on for a bit longer or had a bit more depth to it. But also, the game is only $4.99 USD. I'm not too sure about the other currencies yet, but it's pretty much the price of a boba or something like that. So for me, two hours of fun for $5 sounds pretty good. The game is also pretty cute. The presentation is great. I didn't encounter any bugs and everything felt polished. So the quality is definitely there. If you're looking for a deep management sim or a game where you can really customize or decorate your street, this is not what Minami Lane is, but if you know what to expect, which is just a short and sweet experience, then I think you will have a good time. So that's all. I know this is a much shorter and different review than usual, but I felt like talking about this game. So let me know what you think. Have you played the demo for Minami Lane earlier this month? Will you be buying the full game? Please tell me in the comments. Leave a like and subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you all in the next video.